It's been a long process. Uh, I spent uh, three years playing on uh, what's now called PJ Tour Canada. Uh, graduated university in 2009. Chased a tour that summer doing some Monday qualifiers. It was a little bit of a, a tough financial go that uh, doing that. Finally, after three years on PJ Tour Canada, we went to the final stage of PJ Tour Q School, which was the last year to qualify for the PJ Tour. Obviously, didn't get my PJ Tour card, but got full status out here on the web.com. Had uh, just a phenomenal year last year, learning about myself, about my game, and uh, you know, developing it to be ready for the PJ Tour. And we came out this year, second year on the web.com. Played uh, very solid all year and uh, obviously capped it off with a great win up there in Nova Scotia and uh, now we're heading to the PJ Tour. It's cool, it's, it, it's a feeling like you can't describe it. Uh, it's just a, it's gonna be great to have that opportunity to play it with uh, amongst the best players in the world. Obviously growing up, you know, Tiger Woods, you know, he does everything and, and Phil Mickelson, those guys were eccentric. But when I started playing in college and, and when I first turned professional, I started really realizing what, what I wanted to develop my identity on and off the golf course. I really looked up to, uh, to Jim Furyk and Steve Stricker. I think those two guys handled themselves particularly well. They, they seem like guys that bring the, the lunchbox to work, uh, put the hard hat on, do the job, and then, and then go back home. Uh, and, and that's, you know, that, there, there's some value in that, and that's something that I really looked up to. One of the coolest things that I probably could experience would be winning the Masters. I, I still remember where I was when, when Mike Weir won it in the playoff against Len Matisse. It was just one of those moments. I was in the clubhouse, I can tell you it was Penticton Golf and Country Club, I was playing a junior event, and we were all glued to the TVs after our round. And when he won, it was just this cataclysmic moment where that's what I want to do. I, you know, obviously all the money and the fame, but that comes with it, I mean, that's great, but just that feeling of seeing Mike Weir get that green jacket and just seeing the joy in his face of, of his sense of accomplishment, you know, as, as a Canadian, it's something that, that I would love to, to be able to strive for. You know, I've never eaten a salad in my life. It's a mental thing where it's rabbit's food. Uh, I love vegetables, I love fruit, I eat fairly healthy, but I've just, I can't get over the hurdle of, of eating a salad. I love to ski, uh, hockey fanatic big time. Uh, you know, and uh, one of the things my wife really jokes about is uh, when I start to laugh, my left eye closes. And uh, I never notice it until, uh, until we've been together, but it's just a little habit of mine that when somebody tells a joke, my left eye starts closing.